So our main conclusion from the FIX HF5C study is that it confirms prior observations demonstrating that cardiac contractility modulation significantly improves exercise capacity, quality of life, and functional status in heart failure patients. And along with the EU registry, extends observations in demonstrating reductions in heart failure hospitalizations. Cardiac contractility modulation is a form of electrical therapy for the heart where the electrical impulse is delivered during the absolute refractory phase of the cardiac cycle. So it doesn't capture or pace the heart like a cardiac pacemaker, but it affects certain cellular processes at a, at a molecular, at a genetic level that improve the intracellular handling of calcium so as to improve contractility without an increase in myocardial work so that the efficiency of contractility is improved. The FIX HF5C study was developed as a follow-on study to the FIX HF5 trial. Essentially, the C stands for confirmatory. This was a confirmatory study that was designed to confirm observations made from a subgroup analysis of the FIX HF5C, uh, FIX HF5 study. In that study, we saw that patients who had mildly to moderately reduced LV ejection fractions rather than those with more severely reduced ejection fractions, patients with EFs ranging from 25 to 45 percent benefited most from cardiac contractility modulation. So we set out with FIX HF5C to confirm those observations and to establish CCM as a treatment for patients with class 3 or ambulatory class 4 heart failure EFs ranging from 25 to 45 percent in normal sinus rhythm and with a narrow QRS complex. The results of the FIX HF5 uh, C trial supported the results of prior studies in showing uh, that CCM increased metabolic exercise parameters, including peak VO2, six minute hall walk distance, and quality of life score and did so to an order of magnitude that was comparable to other established heart failure therapies, such as beta blockers or cardiac resynchronization therapy.